All right, hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the K-Byte Biometric Fingerprint Reader. Um, sorry about the low light, I actually have to use my uh, cell phone camera's flash to actually get good light, so it took me so long to get this started. Um, I actually figured out that this $12 fingerprint scanner can actually be used with LastPass, it actually works pretty well. Um, let's just take a look at this real quickly unit. For a size comparison, it is pretty small, about the same size as a Standard flash drive, let's just give it focus. There we go. And the height is about the same as a flash drive too. We're not gonna be doing a complete like look at all the size dimensions, but let's try to give you a good idea how big it is. It's pretty portable. The bottom is actually really nicely textured, so that's pretty cool. So it won't slip all over your desk as easily, but it still can because these cables are kind of thick, so. As long as you don't have anything nearby it moving, you should be fine. The interface is actually a mini USB, which is pretty nice. So if you lose the cables, it comes with two. One for your laptops, which is 50 centimeters, and one for desktops, which is 200. If you lose those, you can always find one at your local electronics store, because most places carry mini USB. All right, here's the box it comes in. It tells you that you need to run a newer version of the software when you're installing. But I found the software it comes with isn't that great. So there's actually an alternate you can use, which I'll be talking about at the end of this video. So it comes in a pretty nice box. Um, unfortunately, it's one of those stupid plastic cases which will like slice your hand open if you try to open it. So I didn't do a very good job of opening it. Let's just take a look at this real quick. Apparently it's cost effective and easy to set up. It is, if you're using the default software. It does support Windows login, which is very nice. You can set it up and just swipe your finger to log into Windows. Um, but again, if you want to do more advanced stuff, you'll have to use alternate drivers. Uh, but it came comes with a CD, but they also have this CD taped to the back of the box. Um, this one has the updated drivers, and it's on a CDR, so it was a little bit suspicious, but I scanned it with uh, Bitdefender, and it didn't come up with anything, so that probably means it's safe. But in general, if you're using it, you don't want to use a fingerprint scanner for anything super sensitive, because there's many ways to break, these things, break into the computers that run them. So if you just want a personal, like this is my personal desktop right here. This is why I'm using it. Uh, it's just nice because it lets me sign in fast. And all right. So yeah, like I said, CD, CDR. This has the latest software. It's super easy to install. All you gotta do is just, there's two folders inside well, along with the manual folder and stuff. One for 32-bit computers, one for 64-bit computers. Pretty easy to set up. All right, and the main thing about this is, like I said, you can just scan your finger. There's no light on it, so it won't like light up like with the um, uh, ones you see on like laptops or whatever for a correct scan or incorrect scan. But it does work pretty much just as well. Like I've used a um, HP laptop that had a fingerprint scanner for a while. I like the ease of being able to log in using it. So that's why I picked this up and I was very pleasantly surprised with the quality of the scanning. It's actually pretty, very accurate for the price. I mean, $11, it has better reviews than some of like the $50 ones. All right, so when you're enrolling, you can set up as like up to like your entire two hands with the fingerprints on the same profile. So you can be like scan, you swipe it a few times and that will actually enroll your fingerprint. So you can get it at most, so it will record multiple angles. And you just plug it in. Once you have the drivers installed, it's just installing the drivers first before you first plug it in. But if you're gonna be using it with LastPass or some uh, other programs that support fingerprint readers, you will not want to use the default drivers. As the default drivers, as far as I know, because I tried it before, do not support the default Windows fingerprint authentication thing. So when you log in, it will have a special picture on the side instead of a normal fingerprint picture. And it will also not support many different programs. It does support entering passwords in programs, just like a normal password manager would, but it does not support reading the other programs reading directly into it. And for things like LastPass, I don't really want them having my password information. So I'd rather just have it stored in LastPass and just use this to scan. So yep, comes with two cores, like I said, CD-ROM, uh, USB 2.0, pretty nice. Um, works on Windows 2000 or higher. I tested the drivers on Windows uh, 7, 64-bit, and they work just fine. And the alternate drivers work on Windows 64-bit also. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it works for me. I didn't have any problems scanning. All you gotta do is just do a smooth motion just like you would with any other fingerprint scanner. You can't expect to like just hold your thumb here. You can't expect to do a, just do a quick swipe. You gotta do a smooth motion. So yeah, for the price, it's definitely a steal. I really, really like it. I'm gonna be using it for quite a while. Uh, if you wanna stick around, you can see how to set up for LastPass. You'll, you'll wanna use different drivers. So if you haven't already, don't install the drivers that come even with this CD because you'll get better compatibility with these other ones. But if you don't want to stick around, then yeah, just go ahead and pick these up, one of these up. I'll have a link in the description where you can buy one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right, so I'm going to try to attempt to install the drivers for LastPass now. All it says in this review I was reading for the same device is we just got to install this driver right here. So to do that, we will want to open up device manager. You can find that by going to press the start button, computer, right click manage. <coughs> Be over here, device manager, by, and then find biometric devices. This is for once you've already installed the default one. You'll find touch chip, right click. Let's go ahead and delete the driver. Uninstall. Delete driver. Just is unplug it and plug it back in. Sorry about that. Once you delete the driver, just go ahead and unplug the device. And plug it back in. And you see, here we go, biometric coprocessor or whatever. Yep, coprocessor, properties, update driver, browse. If there's anything else in there, delete it and then hit Control V to paste this. You can copy it by selecting up here and then pressing Control C. Then when you're over here, Control V. Next, it'll go ahead and install the driver. It says it can't verify it. I already scanned it with uh, uh, Bitdefender, so it should be safe. Although drivers, you know, they can put whatever they want in them. After we install this, it may no longer work with the software the uh, fingerprint scanner came with. So you may want to uninstall it. We'll have the software installed. So let's go ahead and try this guy's recommended software. Let's go ahead and uninstall the old one, which is called Fingerprint Control Center. Control Panel. Where is it? Program and Features. Here we go. Protect your suite. Right click change or just change and then remove remove all protective suite data you get another user account control all right go ahead and click finish and it says we have to restart our computer we're not going to do that I don't want the video to cut off so go ahead and see if we can get the path starting this again Next. Okay. Let's just make give it a folder this time. Because I don't want it just going anywhere. Okay. That was a little bit confusing. Program files. Now we have a proper folder called finger. And it looks pretty much like the old program. Let's go ahead and see. Type my Windows password. All right, and I'm going to swipe my finger. You gotta go slow. It's kind of like those. If you've ever used a laptop fingerprint scanner, it's pretty much exactly like those. All right, let's do one for now. Close. All right, well, we'll go ahead and restart my computer, and hopefully it will be up and running then. We'll see in a second. I click on your LastPass thing, then click Tools, and click About. It says we don't have the binary component installed. Okay, I'm running a 64-bit OS. Uh, just go ahead and click this. Click Allow. This should let it communicate with it. Please restart your browser. 
let's go ahead and take a look. Go to account settings and then security. Oh, sorry, and then you go to multi factor options. Then you go over to fingerprint. And it says Windows fingerprint reader detected, fingerprint authentication. Go ahead and click update. And you want to go to password and type in your password. All right, I just enable it. So now we should be able to go back to multi factor and fingerprint. took a few times but now it finally came up so now this thing comes up we can swipe our fingerprint all right and there we go go ahead and click update all right let's try to edit this okay now it pops up fingerprint swipe Boop. and there we go successfully open so that's how you set up this like eleven dollar was it fingerprint scanner to work with LastPass it was a little bit of work but it got we got it working uh, let's go ahead and try it with a little bit fast swipe, see how sensitive it is. And one more time. So you just got to do like a smooth swipe. And it pretty much opens every time. So yeah, that's about it. All you have to do is just install the proper drivers and then come back in here and set it up after making sure you have the proper <coughs> binary installed. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later.